what's up guys welcome to another youtube video today i'm going to be walking through you guys some training on exactly how you guys can pick a niche to be very hyper successful with your marketing when it comes to marketing yourself as a car sales professional okay and this is going to be absolutely huge because for example javon right here it's been a, uh, a guy that's been in my program three to four months uh, really dialed in on his niche and was able to blow up to 74.1k followers in about two to three months So it's gonna be very big for you actually generating opportunities and being able to grow and scale. Okay And that's the whole thing, right? You know um, if you think sales training and you know getting better at closing objection handling is gonna be what's gonna get you to that next level um, This video is not necessarily for you and uh, but if you're looking to grow and scale uh, in your sales career, then you know obviously this is who I'm making it for, right? Is actually being able to market yourself because a lot of guys in the sales space in the sales industry just have absolutely and utterly zero clue what it looks like to market in car sales. So that's what I'm making this video for. So if you're anywhere between five to ten k a month and you're stuck, these are the type of videos that you need to be watching so that you can actually go ahead and grow and scale. Okay, so jumping straight into it all right so like by the end of this video the reason why you need to watch it all the way through is so that you can actually be able to have some key action items so that you can implement it into your own marketing your own content so that you can actually get very specific about who it is that you serve right so the reason why being able to serve a specific type of audience is so important is because if your message is for everybody then it's for nobody right and so what i see is that like most of the time, people are just like, oh, yeah, I sell cars. Cool. That's the first half of the equation, but to who, right? Like, like that's that's the whole thing. There's different types of cars for different type of people, right? So, you know, your your inventory and your products and your programs that you guys offer at your guys' dealership obviously isn't designed for everybody and anybody, their mom and their dog, right? Because you want to get specific about who it is that you attract because – at the end of the day, when it comes to your own, you know, dealership, the most important part is being able to generate opportunities for yourself that are closable, right? And that's where a lot of people go wrong is they just throw up an ad uh, with like a, a car on there or they'll, you know, post a vehicle or whatever, like just very broad, no specific type of messaging that's located or directed towards anybody. And they're just like, oh, yeah, you know, if you're interested, you know, buy a car. And then they get basically, you know, bottom of the barrel type of quality where they're not actually generating the right type of leads that are closable by their dealership. And then they wonder why, you know, ads don't work or they wonder why their content aren't, isn't producing any opportunities and it's not resonating with anybody. And so that is the problem that you have to take into consideration is – getting very dialed in with your messaging okay so the first thing that i like to do and the first thing question that i like to ask myself when it comes to you know setting up any of my clients or even in general right this stuff works these are principles that you can apply to any anything that you sell but um a big idea first is you want to ask yourself who is your ideal dream customer right so like you can obviously if you've been selling for a while you have a good idea of like who that person is right like who's the most fun person to work with because even after for a while there's a lot of customers that either give you a freaking headache or there's customers that are just easy um just very makes the process very fun enjoyable and honestly quite frankly guys like this is the difference between while you why you'll build a business in car sales that you absolutely love or absolutely hate right it's it's a it's definitely going to be a, a big differentiator in the long term so it's important for you to dial in the messaging in the beginning before you actually start marketing yourself to your local area or if you can sell cars across the country this is even better right it's absolutely phenomenal but um anyways you want to ask yourself these four questions right so number one is who had the most money it's just plain and simple it's very you're gonna have a hard time selling to broke people like nobody likes selling to broke people it's not necessarily fun um and it's very difficult but at the end of the day right you want to ask yourself who has the most money and number two who paid you the most right who didn't try to you know uh squeeze you out of your gross profits who who didn't try to negotiate you down to you know <laughs> a fine dust right 
who paid you the most and then who is the most satisfied right who is after the buying process super thankful that they you know purchased the vehicle from you specifically and last but not least right who is the most common customer that you find on a regular basis okay so ask yourself this question right and then you can start to create this customer avatar in your in your head where it's like oh okay well you know this specific type of uh, person paid me the most they have the most money they're the easiest to work with so this is the type of person that i want to do business with and actually you know be able to attract day in and day out because you know those people you can close all day make the most money off of and those are the best people that you want to attract and you want to become those people's person right so that's this is how you're going to be able to stand out like a sore thumb when it comes to your own marketing as a sales professional because basically everybody's doing the same shit post the same vehicle uh, posting the same vehicles competing on price doing the same things where it doesn't necessarily differentiate your brand from anybody else um and so this is why messaging is important you need to get it dialed in so once you have thought about who your dream customer avatar is the next things that you want to ask yourself are you know what are some green flags that indicate that this person is um, you know, a happy customer that I would like to do business with. Okay, so when it comes to green flags, like the biggest thing that you guys want to think about are like, what are the most tangible and then intangible qualities, right? And this is to continue to define our customer avatar. And I'm gonna draw a guy that has, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> with a good old smiley face here. He's our go-to guy. This is the guy that we like. This is the person that we would like to do business with, okay? So let's say, for example, you work at a Toyota, Ford, or, you know, one of the more common brands that are out there, and, you know, you actually like working with, you know, first-time buyers. Let's say you like working with a first-time buyer, right? So, you know, what does this person look like, right? Like, what are tangible qualities that they have? So let's say, you know, they have a family, right? They could have, you know, a stable job, right? They, you know, um, probably been saving up for a while for their kid. You know, they have a kid that's in school. Like those are a few things that you can think of, right? So there's more, you know, tangible qualities that you can think of. They have a family, stable job, and they have kids that are in school, right? Because obviously they're going to buy, uh, you know, cars for cars for their their kid, right? So that's a, a thing that you can actually, you know, think of when it comes to thinking about the tangible qualities. So what are intangibles, right? So intangible things are, you know, things that you can't necessarily see, but they're quality traits, character traits that you like to think about um, when it comes to the specific type of person. So like, let's say they're not picky, right? Not non-picky, right? That's that's one idea. And then like, you know, another one could be, um, you know, they're open-minded to different types of options, right? Um, you know, they... Uh, like they aren't um they're like well informed but like you know not like a dickhead <laughs> that comes in and just like wants to they're i want the best deal blah blah blah, blah. um yeah and so the these are a couple intangible qualities that you guys can put into your guys is or it could be not well informed right maybe you like working with people that you know you like to teach and like kind of give them good information so that you can actually, you know, take them through the buying process. They're maybe a little bit easier for you to deal with. Um, so yeah, these are a few of the green flags. And then uh, the green flags, right, in terms of your dream customer avatar. And then you wanna go into the, um, the intangibles, right? Because you wanna get crystal clear, painfully crystal clear about who it is that you're serving so that you can actually be able to create an ad or create content that specifically speaks to that specific, uh, you know, customer avatar, right? So uh, a, a red flag, right? Like who's a customer that you don't like dealing with, right? So as much as we have the guys that we do like working with, who do we not like to work with, right? So um, let's say some tangible qualities, you know, they have no job, right? 
Um, have no history. No credit history, right? And extreme, uh, like, um, you know, um, let's say they have no close relatives because, you know, obviously they don't have cosigners and stuff like that either. Um, and then let's say the intangibles, right? Let's say this person is, you know, picky. Um, irrational. And, you know, just mean. All right, so on and so forth. So you can you can go deeper into this, but that's that's how you can define what exactly the um, the tangibles and the intangibles are for people that are your green flags and your red flags, right? Because then by doing that, you can start to think of exactly um, for your dream customer a little bit more about like what their A to B is, right? And this is the desired situation and i'll kind of walk you guys through this a little bit the desired situation versus their current state all right so for your current state like what are the problems that this guy our dream customer avatar really runs into right so let's say for example you know they have money but they don't they've been saving right right they've been saving they're worried about it like making the wrong investment hate negotiating um they don't know like how much money they like what type of car to get blah 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 like there's tons of stuff right and what's their desired situation their kids in a happy their their kids happy with their car you know their kids building credit you know their kids actually has a vehicle that will get them from a to b and that will last them a very long time very low maintenance etc cetera, etc cetera, right so um <clears throat> that will be big when it comes to writing out the next thing which is um, creating your transformation statement all right and so for example I want you guys to go through and you know do at least three or four things where this is their desired situation like what are the benefits that they're gonna be able to receive and then the um, their, their pain points right and this is gonna be able to position yourself with your um, statement as the vehicle that will allow them to get to their desired situation, right? And this is you driving that vehicle with them to get them from point A to point B, right? And so basically, for example, uh, a simple uh, a simple transformation statement has a couple elements to it, right? So this is what you're going to put in your bio, and this is basically like your marketing thesis, right? So this is what people are going to know you for. Basically, it's it's audience... desired result and uh, mechanism all right so I'll kind of explain to you what I mean by that in just a moment here jeez <laughs> okay we'll just run with it anyways um, yeah so w what I mean by that right so for an example of this is I help students who are first-time buyers get into a reliable vehicle that will help them build their credit with my first-time buyers program okay so here's my core audience that I want to serve students I could even say families whatever I help families who have a like you know or I help students who are first-time buyers get into a reliable car right this is their desired situation and then with their mechanism with um, with my first time buyer program those are the elements that make up that marketing uh, statement so that's what you put into your specific um, into your bio on social media etc cetera, etc cetera. and so like the main points of this is this is basically your marketing message this is how you position yourself as basically in um, create a blue ocean market for yourself as a sales professional because now what you're doing is you're sticking out like a sore thumb because what you're doing is you know um, you got very specific about who you work with and who you don't work with, right? Because how sales professionals work is, hey, whoever wants this car, you can have it. Like, that's basically their marketing message, which is stupid because it doesn't speak to anybody. And obviously, that's why it doesn't work, right? So you want to get very specific about who it is that you help. And this is where you get to have the freedom to choose who it is that you want to work with. That's going to be the least amount of headache because 
as long as they fit these, those four criteria, right? They have money, right? They're easy to find online, and you know they're the most satisfied, and they paid you the most. Those four things are going to allow you to actually identify people that will make your life a lot easier, and that you know even if you don't like get a lot of these people in, they're such high quality paying customers that you provide those people. They're so happy with your service and your experience that not only will they want to buy from you again, they'll actually send their friends and family to you. So like over time as you dial in this message and you get the right people in through the door as opposed to just anybody that are actually closable right that's actually going to build your business in the long term and that's going to allow you to separate yourself from everybody else because again everybody else is doing the same thing so anyways guys if you guys found this video helpful i hope that it was then you know drop a comment down below if you have any questions about your specific niche um, or if you have any questions about it but follow this implement it right so that you can have your marketing statement and then put that into your into your bios and um if you guys want to link your social medias down below we'd love to check it out as well um but anyways guys if you want if you're a salesman that's stuck between 5 to 10k a month right and you want to learn how to scale to you know 10 20 30 40 50k right then you know use the link down below to book in a call with me you can see if i can see if on your end you're a good fit for what we do um, and you can obviously go through my uh, YouTube content, watch all the other videos, see if this is the right thing for you. Um, and then we, we can basically move forward from there. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.